starting with two circle with common center. Then draw a chord in outer circle which is tangential to smaller circle. Also measure 20 cm length. And difference between radius is 5 cm. Then draw another circle which is passing through two ends of chord and bottom of smaller circle. So find the shaded area. Pause the video and try to solve this problem. We are applying following concepts to solve this problem. That is, in a circle PA into PB equals PC into PD. If AB is diameter of circle and CD is perpendicular to AB, then PA into PB equals PD square. Also in this figure chord is common for outer circle and third circle. So center of third circle will be present in red line. For solving this problem let's start. From this diagram, we can draw radius of both circles like this. Then, we can form a right triangle. Let's consider radius of bigger circle as r. Then radius of smaller circle as r minus 5. Apply Pythagorean theorem in this triangle. Then, r square minus r minus 5 whole square equals 100. That is, r square minus r square plus 10r minus 25 equals 100. So 10r equals 125. Or, r equals 12.5 centimeters. And we know that radius of smaller circle is r minus 5 which is equal to 7.5 centimeters. So diameter of smaller circle is 2 times r minus 5, which is equal to 15 centimeters. Let's draw third circle. Then, consider this length is x. So, from this figure we can write 15 into 5 plus x equals 10 square. That is 75 plus 15 x equals 100. So, x equals 25 by 15, which is equal to 5 by 3 centimeters. So diameter of third circle equals this length plus, this length plus, this length. That is diameter equals 15 plus 5 plus 5 by 3, which is equal to 65 by 3. So radius of third circle equals 65 by 6 centimeters. So shaded area equals area of third circle minus area of smaller circle. That is, shaded area equals pi times 65 by 6 whole square minus pi times 7.5 square which is equal to 550 times pi by 9 centimeters square. 